Hi, this is Emil from TwinGate. In a previous video, we looked at how to deploy TwinGate connectors into OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. In that video, I mentioned that it's possible to protect Apex applications with TwinGate. Today, we're going to look at how to do just that. I have my Oracle Cloud Remote Network here in the TwinGate control panel, and the, con the connector that we deployed last time is still here as well. What I did was I copied the egress IP and I went to my autonomous database in the Oracle Cloud control panel. And I went to access control list, clicked on edit. And I pasted in the IP address of that connector and click save. Took a few seconds for the connector to come back, sorry, for the database to come back online. But now it's back online, I can check out my Apex instance. So I scroll down to the Apex instance and I can click on Launch Apex. I see that I get a 404 error. The reason for this is because this endpoint requires us to go via the connector and we haven't actually added any reason to go through the connector for this resource. So what I'm gonna do is copy this address. Here we are. And I'll go back to my remote network and I'll click Add a Resource. And I'll type in um, Apex Demo, and I'll paste that in. There's a couple of modifications I'm going to make. I'm going to change the prefix at the beginning to an asterisk. And I'm going to change oraclecloudapps.com to oraclecloudasterisk.com. The reason is some of the ORDS endpoints actually don't have the apps extension, and I don't want to be sensitive to the prefix. TwinGate supports wildcards, and so this is a good reason to, to use them here. Any domain that matches this pattern will pass via this connector. The next thing to do is decide who gets access to this resource. I'm the only person in my account, so I will select everyone. As soon as I've done that, I'm ready to test this out. I can click on the TwinGate client and click login. What I have to do is authenticate, and once authenticated, the icon at the top should bold, and I should see my resource available in the list. So now, I should be able to go back to my Oracle Cloud URL here that's going to take me to the Apex instance and hit refresh, and I should get a sign-in page. Once I get the sign-in page, it's pretty clear that it only works while I'm over TwinGate, because if I disconnect, it should go back to being a 404 error. This is a very nice way to protect SAS apps and low code apps that are developed in ORDS and using Apex. Thank you for watching this video.